What's up YouTube, Alien Rides here, and today we are taking a look at Bigode's latest suspension wheel, the Master. With a brand new design for the pads, the chassis, and the suspension, the Master is a sight to behold. But Bigode has never forgotten about the pursuit of performance, with this wheel running at a whopping 134 volts. I can't wait to check it out, so let's take a look. Subscribe and let's ride. The Master is the first production wheel to have a peak voltage of 134.4 volts. That's 32 battery cells in serial. It's a ton of power, but if you do use all of that available power, you might find yourself eating battery quickly. In our range test, we got about 42 miles of range at high speeds. Those are the most fun miles you will ever travel on a wheel though. There are three different battery options available at Alien Rides, and you can read up more on those options on our website. In this video, we were testing the Samsung 50E version with 2,400 watt hours. For the motor, the Master uses a C38 torque motor. It's the same size as the motor in the Hero, the RS, and the EXN, but it has way more power due to the higher voltage and larger magnets. We've been able to go 0 to 40 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds. It has a top speed faster than the old Speed King, the EXN, and far more torque. Simply, it's the best of both torque and speed 100 volt wheels. Now, let's take a look at some of the features that make up the Master. So the Master comes with black pads by default. You'll be able to upgrade to either red or blue pads in the future, maybe other colors as well. But for now, you're probably gonna have black pads. It comes with the top pad here, which protects the top. You don't need bumpers, and it's also gonna act as a seat. You've got the side pads here, which can act as power pads with acceleration and braking. And you've also got these bottom pads here as well. So overall, I think the pads just add a lot to the look of the design and protection as well. They are a little bit stiff though. It kind of feels like a well-done steak. I wouldn't eat a well-done steak. I also wouldn't eat these pads. But maybe you could add some softer padding to it, like these, more like a medium, medium rare steak. Put them on your pads and that would add some more comfort. So the kickstand's in the back here. You just kind of lean it back to rest on the kickstand and it's pretty stable. It's not really gonna go anywhere unless you kick it. <laughs> Don't kick your master, it voids your warranty. The Bigode Master comes with these honeycomb pedals. They're quite big and very comfortable if you have larger feet, spiked so you have more control and great for off-roading so your feet don't leave the pedals as much. And overall, I find that they just allow me to ride much longer without foot fatigue because they're so big. I like these pedals quite a lot and they simply stay up with friction. There is a screen on top of the master, much like the Hero. It's the same screen, I believe. It shows you everything you need to know, the current battery level, how fast you're going, riding mode, temperature, and odometer, I believe. It's a really bright and sunny day, so it's a little bit harder to see the screen, and I usually don't look down, but it is there if you need it. So the trolley handle is right here in the middle of the top of the unicycle. Press the button, it extends to there. Fully extended is out here. Let's lift it up and it's right in the center of the unit. It's quite comfortable to roll around. So this handle is no longer the lift sensor. Instead, you just press this button a single time and it's now engaged. So I usually lift behind the rear shock and I lift in front like here. And you can just pick it up that way. This flexes a little bit, but it's okay to lift up like that. And just press it again, turn it off. So let's check out the lights of the Master, and we're going to compare it to the previous winner, the S20, and we'll see which one's better. Let's check out the Master headlight here. So it's got typical two modes on, flashing, and there's no brighter mode when you roll? I thought it would be brighter when you roll, but I guess it's just one brightness level. And now for the S20. I think it's pretty clear that the S20 wins in headlight, S20 on, S20 off. So the Kingsong S22 clearly has a brighter headlight, but the Master is faster. 
Let's see exactly how fast the master is. Bigode uses the same style of suspension in the Master as he did on the Hero. It's 190 millimeters eye to eye, and it's a huge upgrade over the Hero because they have this knob. And I love knobs. I don't know about you, but this is a great knob. It's got tons of friction to my fingers. I can turn it very easily. Quite a nice knob indeed. And this knob adjusts the dampening, so you can adjust it for off-roading or road riding, kind of whatever type of condition you're riding in. You can just simply adjust that for the ride. Overall, I think that the suspension is pretty good. You don't really need to upgrade it compared to the shock on the Hero. It just gets the job done. Recently, we posted a short about the master's speed, but what we didn't show was its insane torque. Well, that's all we got for this episode on the Begode Master. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see more about this wheel, you can check it out using the link in the video description below. Consider subscribing so we can keep making more of these videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.